Hey guys, Wester here and girls, uh, Wester here. Uh, welcome aboard. Look, I'm ju I've just purchased a Toby Eye Tracker 5 um, and I'm running it on DCS. I've had a few problems, quite a few problems, trying to get it set up. It's, I've found, um, I've, I've spent probably four or five hours, oh, maybe ten hours mucking around with it, but four or five hours on the DCS simulator. And it's just been really frustrating because you get like this wobbling eye problem where it just wobbles around and you just end up feeling seasick because you can't stop it from moving from the focal point that you want to see. So um, there's a bit of a legend out there that I've found. I've actually joined the Discord, um, which is a great thing to do for anybody that wants to do that. So you just jump onto Discord and put in Toby with the two eyes up here. Um, and you should be able to find that server, the Discord server. Um, some great support in, in that group. And um, one of the support guys um, happened to do, oh, that's my screen there, um, happened to do a video, first video. This is a second video, but it doesn't actually talk about it much. But um, this is this is um, Azayomi, and he's set up. The, the tracker perfectly and it's really good like there was a previous video which was okay but the settings that he's got here he doesn't actually talk about it but he, the settings are in this video so I thought I'd actually save you the time of hunting down and trying to find that spot which is at 19 minutes and 52 seconds which is just a silent run through I just thought I'd give you a bit of a run through on how I've got mine I've pretty much copied the settings tested it out it just works brilliantly um, and I've got a few other extra tips as well, which um, help you with zoom in, zoom out, etc. Um, and starting and stopping the tracking software and recentering the head software. So I'll go into all of those uh, right now. So um, I'm just going to, uh, that's my simulator on pause. Um, so I'm just going to jump into the tracking software. And here we go. So first thing that, that I found really helpful was to um, set up a create a new profile. And so I created a, a new profile um, and, and set up a blank base canvas where nothing was set up. So all standard. So you could basically then you had that one there as a backup. Then, then I created a new one with um, eye track uh, with eye track set up so you basically go to your create new and just add it in there and then blah 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 and you can actually set up a hotkey to switch actively while in game um, switch across into different um, profiles that you've created because you run um, Toby Game Hub in the background first then open DCS um, so uh, the, here's the settings here um, that Azazomi has set up as an OMI, sorry. Um, so the eye track settings enable eye tracking. Responsiveness set that to thirty percent, and the sensitivity gradient run exponent, uh, which exponent at two point zero two, inflection point at zero point eight zero, start point at zero point two zero, end point at one, and then your yaw and pitch set them um, at the full full motion of 90 and 90 I'm running the latest version of um, Toby Game Hub and uh, head track second settings run um, enable head tracking uh, disable head auto center disable head rotation so both of those need to be off and the head tracking must be on your sensitivity is 3.01, pitch sensitivity is 1.35, and then we go to the graph for the head tracking stuff. Um, uh, exponent is 1.26, inflection 0 0.50, start point 0, 0, 0, and end points 1 again. Limits, um, I've pulled my limits back, that actually goes all the way out to 180. I'll pull my limits back to 130 and pitch at 90 and 90. Head position, um, enable head position, X sensitivity 
0.23, Y sensitivity 0.74, and Z sensitivity uh, 0, 0, 0.00. So with the control features, um, this is what you can do to set up to um, enable and dis disable in game. So if it's all going crazy and something weird's going on, you just want to go straight back to the, the stock standard stuff and get a straight out view um, of set up a key. You basically click on here and you um, press a key or a but or a key on your keyboard or a button on your HOTUS or whatever. On my HOTUS X32, I've got button 28 to. Um, toggle it on and off so it gives control to the I, the control software the i control software or turn it off so i've got that as my on the x52 um i've got basically the the left thrust controller on the left hand side the middle button on just below the lcd screen i've got set up and that's button 28 so i'm just going to cancel that um, so that toggles it on and off and then the center view I've got that disabled um, actually I'll, I'll just enable it because I shouldn't have that enabled I'll save that so any changes you make you have to save it to the profile and it saves it um, so I've got this header set up as a reset key for resetting my head tracking to center um, on button 29 which on the LCD on the thrust controller is the bottom right one that says reset actually in the in the, in the thing so I'll, I'll send a couple of put a couple of photos in this video uh, right about now okay welcome back and that's pretty much it on here so I'll minimize this and I just want to go into my settings in uh, in DCS so I'm going to go escape and go adjust controls. So the first thing you want to do is go into your particular model of whatever sim plane or heli you're running. I'm running the F-16. And then make sure it's set on all but access commands. And then when you're in here, press the, on the numpad, press the forward slash. And that highlights the button that you want to set up. So zoom out slow. So this is for zooming in. And zooming out which I'll go into in a sec once we run live um, I've got that set up as button 34 so that's the little roller um, on the thrust controller of the X30 uh, X52 um, there's a little roller on the left to the left of the um, four-way toggle on where your forefinger is on the uh, it's pretty much below your second finger when you're holding on to the controller it's hard to feel and then when you look oh there's a little button there it's a little roller it rolls down and then it rolls up so I've got down for zooming in and up for zooming out um, and I've also it's also got a button press which you can or can you may or may not want to set that as your center it's entirely up to you so I've got that so that's called joy button 34 on the X uh, 30 uh, X52 and uh, zoom in slow oh, sorry the other way around zoom out I roll back or up and that rolls zoom out and then zooming in, um, I've got that set up on button 33, which is pushing down with my forefinger. Um, I'll show you the little button, and I'll show you the button in the photos before. Um, and that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah, so I'll just cancel this. So I'm in active flight now. I'm, I've, 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 I've just, I, I haven't got... Uh, where am I? I'll just check. I'm just going to jump into the view. Um, put the press the center button. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, so that's tracking really well. So I can now, um, I can look down with my eyes. And then if I want to zoom in, I can use my zoom in. And actually go to focus on whatever I want to look at and click the button or roll the dial or I can look at my I can zoom in and zoom out look at my uh, left MFD 
I've got my right MFD. Look up. Look up at my HUD. And then I can look out. Um, I can actually can turn on my HUD dial so I can zoom that up so I can look out here we can see um, all the HUD stuff there so you know so when you're actually in fighter mode you can actually zoom back pretty good and get a real good view all the way around your um, to get some situational awareness so you can even use a zoom on, the, on my toggle to zoom in um, yeah and if I want to reset I can press the reset in the center of the right button at the bottom of my LCD but it's Pretty, stand, pretty good you've got to focus but once you get used to it it's actually really good so I might want to go into uh, steering selection and pitch altitude for cruise control and now that's in cruise control so that'll hold it um, 10,600 and, and yeah so it's, it's, it's pretty good so I can I can zoom out now um, you can zoom right out or you can zoom it gives you a bit of a fish eye view but it's pretty good so I'm looking with my eyes now to the bottom right and I can look all the way around look at, look at all my nav setup switches all my console lighting you know everything here I can zoom in and check to see what's going on with my uh, chafe and my CDMS and my, um, my, I can move across and have a look see what channels I'm using so it's really quite you can actually get right in there if you want and it's actually quite hard hard to focus um, but yeah no it's really good it snaps in pretty good into the HUD once you're uh, running and yeah Zoom in and zoom out. So I'm just autopiling to the next steer point. So it's a bit weird, but once you get used to it, it's actually alright. So I hope that helps you guys out.